set on your side is getting some answers tonight for tenants of the Baylor building in Norfolk. As we first reported yesterday, the renters are left without a landlord because he is behind bars. 48-year-old George Ranowski faces 14 federal charges in a fraud scheme that led to the demise of the Bank of the Commonwealth. Now, this week, each apartment in the Baylor building received a letter from another bank asking for rent money. Well, today, 10 of your sides, Ann McNamara, found out the letter is legit and that help is on the way, Ann? Tom, back in 2008, George Ranowski and his business partner, Eric Menden, put the Baylor building up as security for a loan from the Bank of the Commonwealth. Well, as we all know, the state shut that bank down last year, and now Southern Bank and Trust has acquired the building as an asset, and with it comes upset tenants they left behind. Well, we're questioning everything. This letter comes in from Southern Bank. Stacy Morowski thought something was a little off when Southern Bank sent her this letter asking for the May rent payment. Morowski knew her landlord, George Ranowski, was indicted in a federal fraud case, but she didn't know how she could be sure Southern Bank was where she should send her money. No personal information about our names or any lease information, just a generic letter. This is the proof. In legal terms, it's called the assignment of rents. You can see Ranowski's signature right on it. Southern Bank Regional Executive Taylor Harrell explains the agreement. He says this document gives the bank the authority to assume the rights of the owner in not only collecting the rents, but also preserving, protecting, and maintaining the property. The Baylor building, no doubt, is in need of repair. This is my daughter's bedroom. Murawski showed us where she scrapes mold on a weekly basis from bedroom walls. There's water damage in the living room. She wants Southern Bank to hold up its end of the lease, even though she says Ranowski did not. Harold tells us Southern Bank will assign an established property manager to the building in the next couple days. He says going forward, the property manager will assess all of the needed repairs and the bank will work diligently to address the issues. We know that this situation is difficult for all involved. The bank already paid delinquent gas and water bills, and Harold says tenants can expect another letter next week with contact information, someone to answer all of their questions. We have major problems in the building, and it's not, it's not our fault. The landlord didn't take care of any of it. So we wanted to see what some of Ranowski's other properties looked like, and we stopped by this house in Park Place. The city cited it for being a public nuisance and a repeat offender for debris in the yard. We found broken windows and what looks like bullet holes in the back. The other property we went to was in better shape, guys. The only complaint we found from tenants there, more delinquent water bills. They say, though, they are eventually paid, and they say they had no clue about any of this. Very None tough of it. place for renters, too. It is a tough spot, oh. but of course, Southern Bank has promised that they will take care of it. And we're going to make sure we follow up and that they're doing their part. Yes, I know we will. you will. Thanks, All right. Dan.